This is Duke University. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very glad to be here and to give you information about water and the situation in Palestine, Israel, and all the region where surrounded us. I am Amr Maray from Al Quds University in East Jerusalem, West Bank, Palestine. I am working as a hydrologist since 15 years to solve many water problems in our area. North Carolina is four times uh, bigger than Israel and West Bank. So we are a small country in general, but we have a lot of problems. We have Jewish, we have Muslims, we have Christian from the three religions. And we have Arab, Jewish from the nationality. On some places in the north, we have also Druze, if we consider Druze as nationality. One of the challenges for Palestinians is to have sufficient water. And sufficient water is available if we have good allocation of water between different parties in Palestine or in the West Bank. We have enough water, but unfortunately, until now, we did not get our right to allocate and to take our right from this water. After the First World War, give the Jewish the opportunity to start establishing the Jewish state or Israel. And since that time, we have the conflict. And the conflict become more and more after the Second World War, when the Jewish people in Europe attacked from through the Nazis and the catastrophe for the Jewish people happened in whole Europe. So the Jewish people start to immigrate outside Europe and part of them, they came to, the, to Palestine. There is new group coming to the region and the people who are living there, they did not accept this group. We teach our students that water is human. It's a human right for all people to get water. And it's not fair that you have neighbors who have enough water and drink water and get, take what they need from water. And it is not allowed for you to get your right and to give your sufficient water. So this is the West Bank and, 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 and Gaza and also Israel together. So the water flow from the recharge area here in the West Bank to the either to the east or to the west or to the north. Gaza and people in Gaza tapped about 120 million cubic meters from the aquifer. And the renewable recharge, what you have every year renewal through the rainfall, is about 60. It means that every year they have deficit in the water resources. And according to this, there is some, some places you have seawater in the Trojan. The sea water, the salt water come inside the aquifer system. And due to this, the aquifer will be a problem to, there's no possibility to rehabilitate the aquifer if the sea water come inside. About 80% of the water is not suitable for drinking purposes. What they are doing now in Gaza, the fund agencies, the UN and the fund agencies from different countries provide people in Gaza a small desalination unit. It means that the World Bank wants to build a huge desalination plant in Gaza, and it was 14 years. And due to the political situation, new political situation, the World Bank stopped because Hamas is there, and they are, there is a lot of problem. So they stopped funding the, such a project. So it is, it, is, it is not possible for us to, to establish our state and to depend on ourselves. And there is also many Palestinian uh, businessmen who are um, able to invest a lot of money in the land. But the question is, as you know, from the kind of for, for business people, is the stability. Is the region stable from political? Is there a perspective for peace? Or the next war is within five years or within 10 years? And we in the Middle East, Israeli, Arabs, Palestinian, we shift the problem five years. We believe that the time 
will solve the problem. But in the reality, it, uh, it, it become more complicated. This is not the way to build cooperation and understanding in the region. If we want to live in a region in a good, with a good neighbor, we have to give our neighbor the rights to have enough water and to share with them our problem. All these issues are important. You cannot start with the water quantity and ignore the water quality or the wastewater or uh, the allocation of water. All these water issues are, uh, you can see it as a comprehensive together. Most of the Palestinians are more or less political oriented. And we have different fractions in Palestine. We have Fatah, as you know, we have Hamas, and we have Jihad. And we have normal people. <laughs> I was a student. The students normally believe, and they are right, they believe they can change many things. We believe that with uh, you in the future, perhaps you will come to a good position. You can influence the political situation in the region in a positive way. This is what we are, we hope. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.